Fala, galera. <risos> Você usa Whey e creatina no seu dia a dia? Sim? Então dá uma moral aqui pro ADM e ganha um desconto da hora na sua compra na Growth. Basta inserir o cupom CDF na hora que for finalizar a compra e você estará ajudando o melhor canal de cortes de comédia do Brasil. Tem que suporte. Além disso, vai deixar de ser um baita frangão na academia. That's where, where, the, where, that's where you find the good stuff. It's, dude. In comedy, that's where you find it. And it's stuff. hard. Wait. It's... It can be comfortable for you. It can be comfortable for the audience. Oh! It can be comfortable for everybody. But all of a sudden, <laughs> you just swim your way out of it. You, yeah. And you throw you yourself come... in the deep end. Yeah, yeah. You are right, and that swimming is a perfect example because you're like, oh, uh -huh. you can drown, but you're like, no, I'm not gonna drown. Uh -huh. I'm not. I'm just gonna keep swimming. But you're tired. Yeah, you're definitely tired. Yeah, you're definitely but exhausted. also, you don't want to be just like, you want to go deep. You want to go deep. You just, yeah. just don't want to be just swimming to see. You know, I'm swimming. Look at this. Yes. This is so good. And then you you're gonna be swimming like this <laughs> for all your life. Yes. You want to be deep. You yeah. Be deep. You yeah. want to listen. You want you want to know that you can pl you can play with the best. Like, that's the thing with the NFL. Like, nobody wants you to, you know, mail it to them or, mm -hmm. or be gentle. You know what I mean? It's like, who wants that? You want a, you want a, your opponent to go hard so you know you're good. You know what I mean? I don't want you to be gentle with me and the whole thing. It's like, I, I learned that even with other actors and stuff. They want you to come. I remember, you know, the first time I was, walk, was um, doing a scene with Stallone, even mm -hmm. in Expendables. Mm -hmm. And you start to think like, you know, I don't want to, I want to be careful. He's like, hey, man, bring it with me, man. Don't, don't come here soft. You know, I was like, yeah, yeah. So when we're talking, it's like hard. He's like, yeah, no, that's okay. what I'm talking about. You know? uh -huh. And people enjoy it coming for real. You know, you don't want to play. You want to you play at its highest level. Mm -hmm. And this is another thing I learned is ne don't be afraid to get tired. Never be afraid to get tired. Because I used to be like, oh, my God. I'm learning, and it's just like, oh, and it's exhausting. But, dude, that make it, you're building your wind. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way to get better, is to get tired. Of course. And this is another thing. If you're not tired, did you ever really play? Think about it. Yeah. If you are ever in a game and your, your uniform's clean mm -hmm. and you're fresh, and you're like, you didn't play the game. You didn't play. You yeah. didn't play. Yeah, you're right. At the end of the game, if it's the championship, you want to be on your knees. Mm -hmm. You want dirt all over your jersey. You want to be like I want. You want to be sweat, funky, stinky. The rewards be like, better. You I know, did. Bigger. I won. It makes it like. Do you feel like this is? Uh, and more than that, like, did football taught you how to be an actor? You think? I think so. Oh, because, what is the connection there? You know. You know where the connection is. Because when you went with, you're talking about like NFL. Oh, I didn't make money, but. You are in the NFL, which yeah. is already something huge. huge. Do you feel like you did any, everything you needed to do there? Well, or do you carry some kind of frustration? Because I, I play basketball all of my life. Uh, Not at the level you play uh, football, mm -hmm. professional for like two or three years. Mm -hmm. People are going to make fun of me because I always say that I play basketball. <laughs> I always try to put the basketball in, the, in every conversation I have. But uh, I carry a lot of frustrations. Yeah. I do. That's yeah. why I talk a lot. Because I feel like if I was, if I focus more, I could be, I could go go further. I don't know. I I always talk about this because there's something there. Do you have it, or you feel like you did everything you well, you had to? I, I'll tell you this: I did everything I knew to do at the time. Looking back, I go, I could have done better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, you 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 always can tell yourself. You can you can fool yourself. You know, I, there were times I stayed up too late. And should have studied more, mm -hmm. should have worked a little harder. But you feel like I'm doing good, I'm doing enough. Blah, blah, blah. But if I had done all the little things, I would have done it. But this is the thing I learned. I wasn't gonna make that mistake again in entertainment. Mm -hmm. I was going to do all the little things. Yes. I was gonna take care. It was a lesson I had to learn. But the other lesson I learned, which was wonderful about the NFL, was people, the characters in the locker room. I mean, when people see white chicks, I based that on real people that I knew in the NFL locker room. He was an athlete, but he was a basketball player. But Latrell huh. was based on oh, yeah? real people. Was 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 this guy <laughs> called Latrell too? He, he, no, no, okay. he wasn't called Latrell. But I, I, I'm not going to say his name. You knew because, who he was. But I knew. I said, "Oh, this is this guy." He would be. He'd be like, 
uh, excuse me, my beautiful black sister, could you pass this number to that white girl right behind you, please? <laughs> and I was like, what in the world is doing? He's like, ooh, look at that right there. That's a snow bunny, boy. And wait, I knew guys, they were like, they wanted the blonde, blue eyed, and he's darker than me, but he was like, oh. And I, I said, this is the guy. Uh-huh. This is the guy, and I, and but all my characters were like that. Mm-hmm. It was somebody in the locker room that I could really pin into. Even when I did Bright After Next with Ice Cube, and I did uh, all the even Expendables. There were characters and people that I could channel. And it taught me how to act because it's so full of personality. Yeah, it's like 90 people in every team. Dude, yes, what I'm saying. It's just all these, you had just preachers, you had you had killers, we mm-hmm. had gangsters, we had all, the, and everything in between. You had the nice guys, you had the country guy, hey, what up, man, how y'all doing? You're like, everybody was in there and I was like, oh, I could base something. Mm-hmm. It was like character study, you know what I mean? And so there's always, there were people who were like policemen, they were busy with, uh, with their uh, uniforms and business and the way they studied. And I was like, oh, like that guy, you know. And I remember just channeling characters and people. The best thing about being an actor is that you got to live real life. The best actors live. Like Sam Jackson had a whole life before he started acting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And by living, you get to see, you get to, you, you, you get to pull on that. But when you see a young actor who's never lived, mm-hmm. it's hard. It, after a while, they kind of run out. Of and people. they get insane. Yeah, they don't have a life. They don't. They didn't see what you see. They were. They never got frustrated with, with football, with uh, family, or anything like that. They were born in yeah. that environment, and that's, that's a lot. Listen, early success is a terrible teacher. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you get it too early, and you're like, oh, well, that's it. I won. Mm-hmm. Yay. It's horrible because it doesn't teach you how to overcome anything. So the minute you go on the obstacle, it's like, oh, no, they crumble. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. It's like I'm really glad when I look back because at the time you don't understand. You're just like, why, 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 why? But now I'm at the age where I can look back and be thankful for the obstacles because it made me who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, it's and I face a lot of obstacles Some things I didn't think I was ever going to come back from. A lot of things I thought we were talking.